Well, hello, St. Stephen's family. Father Matthew Quayle here. You know, I'm sitting here in my confessional on this Saturday afternoon, and I'm just thinking, um, you know, how weird it is as a, as a Catholic, as a priest, to not be able to offer this wonderful sacrament here. Um, it's uh, quite strange. It's very strange. But you know what? Uh, Holy Mother Church always provides for us even though we are on this um, stay at home or stay in place, a shelter in place, excuse me, mandate, um, and it's difficult to get out in this time, I, d let's, uh, I think it's interesting and important to review the church's teaching on confession. So the ordinary way that Jesus forgives sins is through the sacrament of confession. Come here, Neil, I got the screen here. Um, and we do um, confession, we do um, sacramental absolution. But you know, this church has been around for a long time, 2,000 years. So she knows a thing or two when the sacrament may not be available to her people. So she provides ways around it, well, not really around it, but to um, accommodate it. So one way, it's spelled out in Catechism, uh, paragraph 1452, if you want to uh, refer to it, is there are three steps. So when you uh, cannot attend the sacrament of confession, which many Catholics want to do, and rightly so, especially in this time of preparation for the great celebration of Easter, uh, there's three things we can do. So when we can't come to confession, uh, three things, pray, so you speak directly to God. You just are in a room, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Um, here's what I've done. I've done X, Y, and Z. Be very specific with everything that you have done. Okay? So you pray to God and tell him what you've done. Second, make a perfect act of contrition. So many people have memorized the act of contrition, and that's a beautiful thing. The reason why we have you do that is for times like this. For times like this, and the reason why we have a formula for, um, for uh, the, the act of contrition is because we're trying to teach you something very specifically. Because in the act of contrition, we want um, all that's required is a perfect act of contrition. Imperfect act of contrition means that, you know, I'm sorry for my sins because I, I fear the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. A perfect act of contrition means um, I am sorry for my sins because they have offended you, God. I'm sorry, Jesus, because they have nailed you to the cross. I'm sorry that what I have done has harmed you, Jesus, directly. That is a perfect act of contrition. That's why it says, um, uh, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all, because they have offended you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. That's why we have the formula for the act of contrition. So if you don't know it, go look it up, act of contrition, prayer online. They're going to find lots of resources for that. So again, first part, pray to God, tell him exactly what you did. Second part, make the perfect act of contrition, which is none other. Go and look up that act of contrition and say, Jesus, I am sorry that I have offended you. Third, you make a resolution that as soon as you can go to confession, a sacramental individual confession, you will do it. And guess what? In times like these, the Lord does not abandon you. He continues to forgive you. This is the truth. This is the beauty and the grace of the church. Jesus never abandons us. And he says, you know what? I have already envisioned this. I've already envisioned something like this when you can't come and make sacramental absolution. So for the meantime, we are going to pray directly to Jesus, tell him what we did, ask him for, uh, for forgiveness, and say, Lord, I am sorry not because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, hell, but because I've offended you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. Okay? And then you say, Jesus, as soon as I can, I will make a good confession. As soon as I can. And your sins are all of them, mortal sins too, they are all wiped away. All wiped away. So my family, again, I wish we could be here together in person, but we cannot for these times. But Jesus never abandons us. 
He all, his grace is always new, and His mercies are always new every morning. So let's take those three opportunities. Paragraph 1452, confess to God, a uh, perfect act of contrition, and the resolve to confess as soon as you can. God bless, and I hope this helps your Lenten season so that we can experience that great joy at Easter.